Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today, we're gonna do something uh, pretty cool, pretty different. So there is a brand new Jurassic Park fan game made called Jurassic Park S. I saw a lot of people playing this earlier and I thought, you know what, I might as well give it a try. I have not seen a lot of footage from it. All I did was test it out to see if it worked. It did, and I gotta say, I actually, I really, really like this. So check this out, guys. I know I saw my friend uh, James Hawkins play this on Jurassic Unicast, and the Gaming Beaver played it too, but I didn't really know what to think. You know, you want to go in a little blind, but check it out. We are, I guess we're Robert Muldoon, <laughs> down, to the, down to the socks and everything. So, one of the things about these simulation games, though, the reason I don't usually play a lot of them is there's no dinosaurs, but check this out. As soon as you start up the game, there's a T-Rex. It's pretty cool. Okay, so what we are basically watching here is a Jurassic Park recreation of Isla Nublar from 1993. And there's a lot of Easter eggy stuff in this. Like, check the back seat. There is a copy of Michael Crichton's novel, Jurassic Park. There's also the canisters in the back. The, uh, almost said Ford Explorer. The Jeep is looking pretty awesome and I actually wanted to uh, talk about that a little bit up here too because this Jeep 18 right here looks so good and so cool that I actually I might model mine off of this uh, for those of you that don't know I bought a 1993 Jeep Wrangler whoa I'm a <laughs> the physics in this game are a little too realistic I guess okay we've got some Gallimimus up here uh, the original plan for me, though, was to actually model my Jeep off of Robert Muldoon's, which is Jeep 10. But Jeep 10, of course, is very different from all the other ones. That's the Jeep. Okay. Did you guys hear that? Oh, Gallimimus. Whoa! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I need to learn how to drive. So, check this out. Look how faithfully this guy has recreated this entire area. It's pretty cool. Got Brachiosaurus here. There's Gallimimus running around. This is my kind of game. Oh my god, listen to that. That is the NES music for Jurassic Park. Oh, what, what I do to my Jeep right there for a second. Oh, that is so fun to listen to. I wish that I could take my gun out. Not that I'd shoot one of these beautiful dinosaurs, but, you know, Robert Muldoon goes well with his Spaz-12. I guess the music's coming from this motion sensor? This video camera setup? It's, honestly, this is pretty fun. And it's one of the only sort of fan game simulation things for the 93 park that does have dinosaurs in it. So, I mean, that does need to be acclimated into what we're looking at here. That's that's kind of rare. Yeah, it's coming from those things. All right, so what's down this way? Oh, we can't go anywhere this way. So I'm assuming that this is not complete. This fan game is probably in the, I want to say, I don't want to say early days, but I can assume that he would want to redo the whole thing. Look, we're racing this Gallimimus right here. <laughs> Very cool. So, I wonder what other dinosaurs are here. We've seen Gallies, we've seen a Rex, we've seen Brachiosaurs. I'm really hoping to see some Dilophosaurs or something. What's up here? Oh, <laughs> oh no! Okay. Did I just Austin Powers this thing? <laughs> Come on, Muldoon. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Didn't expect to, <laughs> didn't expect to do that at all. Okay, so... Around here, oh, wow. Oh, I think this just take us back to where we were. Yep, we are now back at the Rex enclosure. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to drive up here a little bit and just see if there's anything else that we can do. Wow, Nublar sure does look pretty dark at night. Jeez. This game is pretty... pretty awesome as far as the ambiance and everything goes, but unfortunately, 
I'm not really seeing much else to do. Oh, what? No! Oh, shit. <laughs> what am I even doing? What's going on? Uh, flip back. Oh, my God. That was pretty cool. Is this like a mod for an ATV game or something? So I guess that's uh, that's about it. But for what this is, this is a free game that you can just kind of download and play. It's pretty cool, man. I like the faithful recreation of Nublar. I like the fact that it does have dinosaurs. Notice, employees only. Do not block this area. Can I get in here? Oh, I can. Oh, I can't. Damn it, Muldoon. Okay, so actually, apparently, we're supposed to be collecting eggs by this thing. So every video camera system and motion track... Okay, how do I pick them up? F. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so you pick up the eggs and they go in the back of your car. And then I guess we're supposed to go to the employee section, I think. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to do because this game can't be this short. You know what I mean? Ah, don't die. Okay, so here's the second batch of eggs. I really do wish we had a game like this. My whole thing is I'm just tired of park builders. Like, people asked for that stuff for like 10 years. We got it. And then everybody was kind of like, hey, this is the same game over and over again. It's literally on mobile. It's on major consoles. And the thing about JPOG is that that was the only game people had for years. Like, it, that was the newest Jurassic Park game. It was just too... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> to me, too family friendly to... Oh boy, dinosaurs watching frolic around and, you know, feed them goats and stuff. It's like, okay, but isn't Jurassic Park, like, the whole second half of the first movie is about surviving against dinosaurs. Like, there's a whole other side of this franchise that I don't think video game-wise, and even anything apart from the movies, is really, like, mining from, but I don't know. Uh, there is going to be a sequel to Jurassic World Evolution, so fans of that game can be really, really happy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know about me. All right, and this is the last bundle of eggs. So they're just in one straight line. Now, I'm going to pick this up. Pick it up, Muldoon. Come on. I love that music. It's so fun. All right, so get back in the car. And now we're going to see what this is going to do. Oh. That's good enough. All right. And now, I think it's going to let me walk in here. Oh, it did. Oh, my God. Okay. What is this? It's like some Wing Commander stuff. What is this? So this is obviously not in the first movie. Even know that's like a military vehicle, right? Oh, currently unstable. Okay, what is it? What? What is going on over there? Oh, what the hell is that? It's like a transformer or something. What is that even? What is the purpose of that? Okay, all right, so can I get in this? No. So the music right here is really weird and ominous, too. I have no idea. So I collected the eggs. It let me go in here. And then I don't know. I'm going to leave, though. Whoa, what? Okay, where's my vehicle? Okay, this is reminding me of that Trespasser mod we did. That chaos thing. So... I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little freaked out. What is this? This is like Army of Darkness. I... Can I... 
Oh, okay, there is a ground. Now, atmospherically, I would love a movie like this. Oh, the T-Rex is out! Oh, jeez! Uh... What does that mean? Like, what... What am I supposed to do right here? Do I hear someone crying? Okay. There's nothing behind me, is there? Alright, so... I'm guessing that the Triceratops area is not going to be blocked out. Okay! So, there's, there's some influence by something other than Jurassic Park in here, isn't there? Whoa! Now it's just black. Where am I? Oh god, we need a game like this so bad. Education 2000? It's a map? What's on here? Bunch of junk. Uh, alright. So is this Hammond's house? Whoa. Is this like Lockwood's mansion? Oh man, it'd be so cool to get a game like the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes in Jurassic Park style. Let's come on, we'll do it. The end. That's it. No more content. Oh. Really? Well, it was a spooky way to end it. Uh I can walk in here though, can't I? Alright, what do you got in here for me? Uh, what do they got in there, King Kong? Sorry, that's all. Okay. The, the developer has a good sense of humor. What's that say? Finish. <laughs> what if I go this way? No more. What was that? Was that a raptor or something? Oh, God. Please come out again so I can see. I don't know what that was! If that was a raptor, that's an awesome little easter egg. Aw, oh, man. It's not gonna come out again, is it? Alright, well... So you can't go anywhere after this. Okay. Well... I, I really enjoyed this. Uh, if anyone wants to make a game like this, uh, please go ahead and do so. We'll be answering my... Whoa, that's red. Is that always red? What? What now? Whoa, it's a Gallimimus. Okay. It just restarted me for some reason. So I... Whoa! That's... <laughs> what sound effect is that? <laughs> what was that Dennis Nedry's laugh? Mentalized. Okay, I, I think we're done here. There's... That was like the scariest thing that's got me in a game for a long time. Alright. Well, I hope you guys had fun watching this. I look forward to playing anything crazy like this in the future. So. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game work as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video, and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.